and the last thing between you and lunch, and I'm called Chris Lunch. So I'm the director of Insight Share, and I'm going to talk to you about an ancient technology. Who's got a video camera with them today? All of us. Yeah, we've all got them in our pockets. But what we do with these video cameras is something about which many people aren't doing today and which is really important for tomorrow. We're actually combining this old technology with people power, working with our bodies like we heard today. So here, this, this is a participant in one of our workshops embodying uh, the, the, the frustration that people feel at bad conferences. So not something we're going to feel here. And it was a, an exercise, an empathy exercise, and going beyond the intellect. So we use participatory tools, and we use video, and we use design thinking, and we create a magical mix. And I call it magical just because there aren't actually words for it yet. There's no science for it. There's some advances in behavioral economics and neuroscience. But there's still nothing that really pulls together why something happens when you get people together working creatively around a tool like participatory video. So, I want us to move as designers and creators of the future away from the linear A plus B equals C type industrial model to the reality which is actually things are interconnected and complex, especially with many of the wicked problems we're dealing with today. Also, I want to point towards the diversity, the issue that's been coming up a lot of times. We heard from Bridget and others. So, so we need our designers and our technologies to reflect the reality of our world, which is diverse. And I, I'm going to tell you a little bit how we can do that and how we're doing that. This is an example of uh, a failed project in, just outside of Paris. It was a redevelopment project, urban regeneration. They thought, let's build a swimming pool. That will really help boost the area. Young people will be doing sport. Sounded great. Lovely idea. Problem was it was empty. Nobody went because it was built in the wrong part of town. The Muslim women weren't going to go because it was a mixed changing room. Very basic problems because the local community weren't involved. So we went to the mayor of the local, this was in France, asked us to go and talk directly with the communities to find out what their real needs were, to avoid these kind of mistakes and build from the people's needs and priorities. So people before we went there said, oh, you're going to have a really hard time. It's a nightmare. You, you, know, you won't get any participants to start with. And, uh, you know, good luck if you come out alive. So we did, it was tricky at first. We only got five participants, but it was a nice diversity of ages and ethnicities. And that was enough, because with the participatory video, they go out and start filming. They take control of the camera. They start filming their neighbors, talking about the different issues, and bringing people in. And this was on the second day. I mean, this is unusual. It, don't, it doesn't normally go that fast. But we managed to kind of guerrilla style go into a group of women who were learning French, say, hey, come to our workshop, and they came the next day. And that's how it works. We don't wait for people to come to our workshops because they won't. The people that we're trying to reach are the marginalized. They won't be there. So we need to go out to get them. Using video, they were also able to focus on the key issue. For them, it was cleanliness and uh, waste management. And so focus, using a camera in this way, she was able to show her experience uh, and challenges and pain points. So we obviously need a better graphic designer, but apart from that, um, we, so we're, we're really in this one. This is the traditional conception where people conceive and design projects for people or with people or together with people. But we are trying to talk about something much more radical. And it shouldn't be radical because to me it's obvious. We need to design with those people together. Okay? They can be designers. We've seen it millions of times. And we use design thinking structures to go from an inspiration. Let's, let's explore the problem from your perspective. What is the problem? Where are the pain points? Let's do some films, some interviews, going through to inspiration and to prototypes. So these are the kind of the prototypes they came up with, all the way from this amazing dustbin, better dustbin, which was uh, triggered by stepping on something. It was solar powered. There was a bike next door to squash the rubbish, to a community garden, which they put in place straight away. And this project, it didn't lead to those kind of dustbins, but it did open up a whole new way of thinking for the local council. And it also got local people involved. So what we're actually doing is, I, if I hesitate to say this in a room full of anthropologists, is we're definitely strengthening community, and in some cases we are creating community. So these tools, you know, we looked at community online. Why aren't we giving so much attention to creating communities offline? Uh, it's essential for us to go forwards with all the challenges we've got together. It's worth so much. Here in Ghana, we work all over the world, so we've, we've been going 20 years. This is a project with illiterate widows 
who wanted to shift things because they weren't having rights to, for, to, to land and they were being marginalised as soon as their husbands died. And they wanted to shift things locally. In their way, they take control, they decide what's shift. We wouldn't presume on how to go forwards in such a complex issue. But they know how to go forwards because they are the experts. So we do this work. It's our 20th birthday tomorrow. And uh, I want to tell you that participatory video, this is supposed to be, it's much more than just a camera. It's a lock because people control what they show and what they don't show. It's a key because it opens new doors. You might have a Muslim woman filming a man that they would never even be able to talk to them. Uh, it's also a magnet. It brings people together. So for you technologists here, my question to you is, we've been doing this 20 years. It's going well. It works. How can we scale this up? Can you see possibilities for us to move this forward to another level? What elements can we actually build on using your skills? And also, maybe to you, your challenge to you is, can you bring in greater diversity in this way? Even if your teams aren't diverse, definitely try that. But if you don't, can't do that, go to your users, and you can work in this way to bring in their, their ideas. So, OK, things are pretty shit. We've got a lot of problems, guys. Let's admit it. Um, and we don't have a lot of time. Um, so we're looking for, before we all die, <laughs> no, we're looking for, look, we're, this generation, are we going to be the ones who are going to shift stuff, or are we just going to make more problems? We're looking for radical collaborations. There's no time to waste. All hands on deck. Let's talk, and let's think about what we can do. This stuff's working. Let's build it up and mix it with other stuff. Thank you. <laughs>